Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make an ambient occlusion pass in Houdini. I'm not going to go over a lot of the uh, finer details, but I'm just going to show you how to do this real fast. Okay, so let's start from scratch at our object level. First, this is an ambient occlusion I made to show an example of what it looks like. I put this little Mac iMac texture on there and these blocks and this teapot just to show you what an ambient occlusion looks like. And we can go into how to adjust the ambient occlusion in a later video. This one is just to show you how to use it. So let's lay down a grid. And let's lay down a teapot. And let's bring it up. Let's scale it up. Like so. Okay. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is hit the tab key type light and choose the light template. Boom, this will throw us in our light template, okay? You can go in your light template and look and see if, if you're interested in seeing how it's laid out. But for now, we're just gonna go to our shop network. Now let's tab, type VEX global. You'll see a VEX global illumination and we'll lay that down. Okay, so now let's go back to our shop network, or our object network. Select our light. Let's go to our render tab. Shaders. And we're gonna have to define our light shader here, so let's hit our little button, and let's give it the V, the VEX global illumination that we just laid down. Okay? So now, let's go to render, create a render node, mantra. Let's go to our shop network, make sure everything's set up. I'm going to take my global tint to 2. Um, sampling quality is how good and how well it's going to look. I'll reduce this to 64 and you'll see that the speed of the render will be a lot better. But it won't be as sharp. Let's go to out. Let's control click a camera and add a camera. And let's go to our mantra node and render and see what we get. And there we go. There's our ambient occlusion pass. And Houdini, it's that easy, guys. No problem. Uh, if you want to add, um, let's go back to our shop network. No, let's go to our materials palette. And let's add a simple displace. Like this. Let's pick our simple displace. Let's use a displacement map. And let's pick, let's see here, what can we pick? What looks good to you? Let's pick this apple. We'll open that up. Okay, everything looks good. Let's go back to our object level. Let's select our grid. Let's make our rows and columns two. Go back to our shop network, and let's look and see how we got this set up here. Um, it's on repeat, and let's make it decal. Let's go to our out, and let's grab a quick render. This is what it's going to look like before our displacement. As you can see, it's just a regular ambient occlusion pass. So now that we've set up our displacement, let's go to our material tab tablet here. That's this one. Let's drag and drop it onto our grid. Now, as you can see, we have our apple right in the middle of our grid. Okay? This is how you make an ambient occlusion pass <clears throat> inside Houdini. And it's that simple. You lay down your light template. You lay down your global illumination inside your shop network. You point them to one another and you have your ambient occlusion. It's that easy. Thanks for watching, guys.